Welcome to the Facility Survey Assessment Virtual Reality Familiarization Exercise for Identing Health Hazards and Conducting Risk Assessments for Drinking Water Systems. This orientation video exercise will introduce you to a virtual reality world using Second Life. The goal of the orientation exercise is for you to explore different places in Second Life and become familiar with the learning technology used conducting risk assessments. After completing the orientation, you will be given a virtual location to which you can teleport. At that place, you will conduct a hazard risk assessment of the drinking water. The chosen location will be previously existing virtual building within Second Life. The key to completing this assignment successfully is to look for potential and actual cross-connection in the virtual place. In the future, I plan to work with the owner at some of these virtual locations to create an object that simulates cross-connection health hazards to the drinking water. Your duty is to recognize those risks. Additionally, you will determine what level of risk the hazard poses to the drinking water, such as minor, moderate, and severe. The definitions of these terms are defined within the, the paper that I have, will have submitted to you for completion at the end of this exercise. Finally, the completion of this exercise you will complete on your own requires you to complete a, a one-page report, which is basically a form that I would like you to, um, to populate, detailing the hazards to the drinking water that you found while exploring those virtual places, and you will recommend a remedy. When you have completed that task, submit the report to me through email. Now we're going to start our virtual tour. We're going to start with the restaurant, but the first thing I need to do, you to do is open your map window. And that's on the bottom right hand corner. Now we're going to enter Kitchen Corners. K-I-T-C-H-E-N Corner. K-O-R-N-E-R. -E and then we're going to do a search. Bingo, we found it and then we're going to click on it and we'll be teleporting to an, a virtual location. Now what this place is, is basically a restaurant. Now one of the things I need you to do is to get into that restaurant. Now obviously we're on the top of a hill and the restaurant's in a distance. Now to get there I would recommend we, do, we practice our flying techniques. We're going to fly up and we're going to go to that restaurant and we're going to go up. Now where I want you to land is towards the back and and I believe let's see, once you're all set up you will see it all there's a water f a fountain out there. Now that water fountain is where I want you to land. There we go. And it's towards the back and once I stop flying, let's see what happens. There we go. Now, I want you to particularly, I want you to take a look at this water fountain. It's an ornament. Now, someone would say that what kind of hazard will this have to the drinking water? Well, it's right next to this restaurant, and maybe this ornament has water. Um, needs to have extra water added to it so they're going to probably take it from the building. Now should the water pressure drop inside your building and that is directly connected to this water fountain, that water could go backwards. And someone's going to ask you what kind of hazards will this water fountain have? Well this woman here on your right is actually painting. And you'll notice there's a bird flying above there. Well if any of those particular uh, objects like the paint or the bird come in contact to the water that could provide some health hazards to the water system so you don't really want to have it to be cont uh, uh, contaminated you don't want to have that connect um, be directly connected or in contact of the drinking water system so let's go inside the west wing of this building now like I say this building is already pre-existing so I have not simulated any actual cross contaminations or connections or anything that, that's going to be out of the ordinary but what I would like you to do is to walk around think about this as a typical restaurant what would you actually find in a restaurant I'll give you some hints now through some of the literature you have been studying for the last little while in the course that you may already have an idea but for example we're gonna to go to a bar a bar may have some contamination issues and one will say well what kind of contamination would be in a bar. Well, you would think about 
uh, the bartender has those dispensing pieces of equipment that they use to fill up beer glasses and soda machines. Well, basically there's a carbonator built into some of that equipment. And the carbonator, if it becomes a contact to copper, it becomes contamination. And there's a, a chemical term, it's called copper sulfite. And if you happen to have contact, get in contact with the copper sulfite, especially drinking it, it could be quite um, serious. And it has been problematic in the past. And to prevent that, you have to install a bat flow preventer. And the bat flow preventer prevents the reversal of that carbonator carbonation in contact to the water so therefore uh, the water system is protected. Now I'm not going to go into fur too much detail in this location but I would like you to walk around and think about what could be some potential risks such as maybe in the kitchen what we think would be some risks. Maybe um, ice maker? What about a dishwasher or a glass washer? Okay now let's go to the map window again open it up. Now we're going to be going into our next location which is going to be your exercise and the location is houses so you type in houses h-o-u-s-e-s -E do a search for it look on your map click on your map and we're going to teleport all the way to this location now this location is going to be a number of existing facilities it's actually in fact it's almost like the real thing where you show up into a little area of, in a town and um, now there will be different types of buildings and what I'd like you to do is to kind of walk through each of these types of buildings at, with your avatar and think about what could be some risks in those buildings based on the type of buildings now some of it may be obvious and some of it may not be not that obvious but remember walk around note what you see remember if you're in doubt then write it down hint do not look for the obvious. Think about the the operations of the building. Never assume that they are doing anything wrong. Not doing anything wrong, pardon me. But good luck. Now look forward to reviewing reports. But I will give you one last little hint. If you turn, turn around, you'll notice that they also have a water fountain. Make it the, what we just talked about in the orientation exercise. Now that water fountain, do you think it's a risk? Identify yes or no. And if it is a risk, what would you do to prevent that risk uh, contaminating the water system? Good luck, and I look forward to reading your reports. Thank you.